Hi, my name is Jan Nelson and I am the president of Tooth Fairy Island. I'm here to help get started with your new kit. I'm sure you've got a box that looks something like this at least. And you opened it up and found a lot of materials. So we're going to go over some of those materials right now. Inside your box, you had a board, a magnetic board. And I'm sure you took all your little magnets and popped them out of their frames so that you have a selection that looks like this. And this is your magnetic board. You also have some other pieces that look like this and small round circular pieces. It's going to be necessary for you to keep track of these pieces as they are not duplicates. They're you're going to need all the materials that are in your box. So you might want to count them each time you do a lesson so you make sure that you come home with the same or at least they're not stuck to the back of another magnet. So in your box with these smaller pieces you have a nylon bag. It's really a good idea to not leave the magnets on the board itself but to put them into the bag. This not only protects them, but it keeps them from getting bent and from you losing any of the smaller pieces. Even your medium-sized pieces will fit into the bag. Your larger pieces will not. These do is you put them at a diagonal and then just keep your bag cinched so that it's all right, ready to go. Your larger magnetic pieces it's easy to keep those just on the board itself when you're moving around. Now I want to point out that you have one big white piece like this. This magnetic piece needs to be just like this. Do not cut it, do not change its shape in one of, not just one, but two of the lessons you're going to use this piece to hide certain portions of the magnets that are on the board. You'll learn more about each of the lessons as you open up the other part of this uh, video and read about the lessons themselves. Be careful with these pieces because if they're bent they do crack and they can be torn. While we're using very high level or high grade magnet magnetic flexible material it still can be damaged. I'd like to remind you that, that these are not children's toys. This is to be a teacher adult directed activity and not left for children to just play with on their own especially with the smaller pieces because some of them can be a hazard for choking if they are put any of the smaller pieces into their mouth. Next, I want to just show you in your lessons one of the first things that you'll find when you go to the, the um, downloading of your lessons is it says a magnet sheet list and it'll list all of the lessons that you have and what magnets are needed for each of those lessons. This is a good reference to keep with this magnetic board so that when you go out and you're teaching, it's a quick reminder of what do I, I need to pull from my package for this particular lesson. 